Howdy folks, I'm Keith Bowen, and this is Hard Rock University. We're still in Helena, Montana, and we're going up to take a look at what, the sixth level? Yes, sir. The sixth level of this mine here. Do you want me to mention a, a name or anything? The January Mine. The January Mine. And uh, this is Paul, one of the claim owners, and uh, we're going to take a look at it. Just have a little bit of time here, but we're going to do a cursory look, give him some ideas, and help get everything planned for next year. They got to try and figure out how to get this thing making them some money, like everybody else wants to. And we'll see if we can't help them along the way. Whoa, that's slippery. Uh, it's real slippery. Yep. Well, I better use both hands. Well, here we are way up the mountain a bit. Beautiful road except for the Forest Service destroyed it. Uh, I fell down on road, but they'd taken this and turned it into hillside, the scum. Anyhow, nice old uh, building there. Now here's obviously what was an entrance. However, we believe that the vein is actually in the crease of this drainage here. So what may have happened is, if you were to drive your adit into there, and every time it rains is running down the hill and bringing dirt and debris and water, life's gonna be really unpleasant. So what they may have done is come over here and gotten an offset, drive it into the hill a little bit, and then go over to intersect the vein and then you've got a good, secure opening that's not going to be a problem. What we're going to do is go right down here to the dump where they were throwing away their waste from this tunnel and uh, get a sample and then head to some other spots and get some other samples. Well, we're now down the hill about 100 vertical feet roughly. Vehicles are on that road down there. There's a dump from this level, which we will sample. And over here, this is clearly the structure they were mining at this level. It appears to be the same structure on all levels. I call this level five, I think. Paul believes this is level five. You can see it's all collapsed in here. Who knows what's down there. This was an added entrance, clearly. Again, some of this was mined in the 1800s. About the latest was 1935. So it's been sitting around a long time, as you might notice. I'm guessing some winter the the snow load just yeah. finally took it down. Yeah. That looks like a roof turned inside out. <laughs> yeah, let's see. That looks like a really cool picture. So here I am up on the level four dump. Quite a ways down from the valley below. Let me go to the uh, road where I can get you a better view of it. Let's see just how high this thing is here. Pretty high. <laughs> 75 feet. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. 75 to 100. Yeah. yeah. There's the old ore bins for loading the uh, wagons. There's the dump I was just on. Across the way is a dump from another mine. It's in the hills right there. And I kind of suspect that that road there goes up to another mine. Because I can't think of any other reason to go to the middle of that hill. <laughs> okay, we're going to drive down to another mine and take a look at it now. And that's what you call 
a lot of pyrite. Oh. Oh. We're here a little bit further down the hill. There's Eva at the base of the dumps. Old mill building. And a crap load of dumps. Still haven't even found the mine shaft yet. So, let's keep climbing, I guess. Here's the portal. This is to drain water out. It's all caved. Up there is the assay lab, and I think that's a residence trailer there. Here's the ore bins for shipping. Not sure what that is. Looks kind of like a head frame, but not quite. Might have been a water tank, hard to tell. Here's where the railroad tracks were that went along the edge of the dump. See? Mm -hmm. And then they just side dumped it. Not sure what all the batteries are for. Small lead mine right here. And here is a generator, Worthington. It looks like they came in and wired some other stuff in maybe later. There's power lines too, or they might have gone from this. Not sure what that is. These are core trays. This is where you put the cores you extract with a core drill for storage so that they're uh, able to be identified, etc. Yeah. Screen. Yeah, it's probably just a big stove here for heat. It is Montana. Left of an older stove than the one that's There's there. a workshop. The one there looks about 50s or 60s. This looks like Found a 100. generator. And that one right there. This is a workshop here. See those things on the floor? Those are core, core trays. Core trays, yeah. yeah. Looks like a garage here. There's no front. Oh man, still got slickers, man. Beaver board insulation. Vent tube. There we go. Yeah, for air. That's vent tube for air. And these are to hang it. There's slickers. It's evidently your uh, showers and such here for changing. Gas tank. Um, it's a winch of some sort. I don't know if that's an air tugger or not. Or whether it's externally powered. 
I'm thinking it was powered through this shaft here. And that's just a gearbox. There's a motor. Next to your right foot that's got a radiator on it. And yeah. It's a little vacuum pump, I believe. Or a little compressor. And this one has got me perplexed. Pressure not to exceed. Not sure. Wow. It's a pressure vessel of some sort. Now here is a relic. Ugh. If anyone knows what this is, let me know. I'm pretty sure I know what this is. Like a phonograph? No, it's a radiant heater. Radiant heater, huh? I do believe so. That's where you... Uh, feed the fire box and hot it's air. Basically, just a, just a stove, yeah, a heater. It's a decorative stove, probably from hmm. the 20s or 30s, maybe the 40s. Probably another workshop of some sort. I've seen very similar ones. More analysis, maybe. Brake fluid. I'm sure somebody knows their stuff. Well, look, 3.785 liters. That's not ancient, or it wouldn't have liters on it. There's a dot three brake fluid. Dot three brake fluid there. What the heck is this thing? Support this of some sort. Looks like an old ice box. Yeah. Refrigerator. Oh, yeah. There's an old uh, decorative stove in there too. One of the old kind designed to look like a radiant heater. And another room for whatever. there and then ran it into the new mill. Well there's definitely a crap load of dumpage here. Well, I gotta go back that way to pick my bucket up. But it looks like an easy trail. Yeah, down, that's the way I'm heading right down now. this way. Yeah. Here's this intermediate level, just above the mill. Yep, we'll just have to go down this way. So from the bottom, I'm guessing that was coarse ore bin, primary crusher, maybe secondary crusher. And then from there, a conveyor belt to the mill itself. And there is a conveyor belt, and there looks like a receiving funnel. No equipment still in the mill building that I can see without hazarding my life. And you see how it's built on levels so that as each thing happens, the gravity just takes the material to the next level. Standard mill construction.
and all the equipment's gone, so it's just empty in there. 